Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be going over how to resolve the Windows activation error related to 0x800 7007B. And the way we're going to be doing this is trying to replace our faulty product key with one that works or the one that we already have assuming that there's an issue with it. Please keep in mind that I'm not advocating piracy in any way in this tutorial and this is completely assuming that you've either purchased a license key of Windows 10 that's legitimate and you're trying to install it or you're trying to replace an existing license key that might be already on your computer with a legitimate one. I mean I know pretty much they both sound the same but they're a little bit different so just please keep that in mind. So the first thing you have to do is actually locate your product key. I do have a tutorial that I've made in the past showing you how to get your Windows 10 product key and see what it is. I will have a link to that probably as a card in this video which is basically a replacement for the annotations on YouTube but it's very important that you get your product key written down before we proceed in this tutorial. So assuming you now have your product key we're going to start by heading over and right clicking on the start button and then we are going to select command prompt and then in parentheses admin if you receive a user account control window, select yes. So at this point what you want to do is type in slmgr.vbs and you want to do a space forward slash and then type IPK and then at this point you want to enter your product key and then you want to hit enter. Please keep in mind that I am getting an error alert here because I did not insert my product key make sure you include all the dashes that are included with the product key when you're putting it in here. It's very important you do so. And basically this will just directly put the product key into Windows and you don't have to go through the standard process of adding a new license key. So I hope this brief tutorial helped resolve this activation error some of you guys might be having and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.